Good boy, good boy. Oh, hey, it's Kevin Tofu with Giga Ohm. How are you? This is my furry friend. We just got back from a little drive. I'm going to put you down. And uh, in the car, I was using my Bluetooth hands-free setting in the car, and I always shut the Wi-Fi off on my phone to save battery. I was using my Galaxy Note 2. I'm going to unlock that for a second. And normally when I get home, I do the reverse. I actually turn my Wi-Fi back on, and I turn my Bluetooth off. I was doing that manually. I've also done it before with Tasker, which uses a, it's an app that uses GPS to say, hey, you're home, flip things around and whatnot. Here I've got a Samsung Tactile NFC tag, and I've already pre-programmed it to be my I'm back home tag. So what I'm going to do is show you that I've got my Bluetooth on and my Wi-Fi off because I was just in the car. And now I'm going to hold this phone up to the tag. It makes a little noise. And if I go back, you should see the Wi-Fi is now on and the Bluetooth is off. Now, I can't mess with the GPS, unfortunately. You have to have a rooted device for that. So it's not quite where I need it to be just yet. What I want to do, though, is take you up to the office, show you a little bit more about these NFC tags, talk about how you could integrate these in with your home or other uh, areas, and uh, talk a little bit about the pros and cons of different NFC tags and different apps for NFC because I've noticed some uh, some issues here and there with terms of compatibility. Let's go take a look. So let's talk a little bit more about what NFC is. In my last video I showed off this Moo business card which had a near field communications or NFC tag inside of it. When I tap this to an NFC phone it actually opens up a web page to my GigaOM Pro profile. So that's one thing you can do and the tags inside there. Here we have a set of five Samsung tech tiles. Now, let me, I haven't taken the backing off on this one yet, but let me show you that the tag is right there. So you would just stick this wherever you needed to, and, and there's the tag, okay? So, the tags are programmable. You can program them for actions and lock them so they can't be reprogrammed unless you unlock them, or you can just leave them unlocked and reprogram, reprogram them again and again. So here's how you do it. You actually need an app called Samsung Tactile. And here, you select an action to create a tactile. For mine, I said switch, I'm sorry, change phone profiles or settings. And here you can see what you have access to. You can change all these things. And I said Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, next. And for my return home, I said turn the Bluetooth off, turn the Wi-Fi on, next. And then I could give it a name. In fact, here we'll do this. We'll reprogram it right now. I'll call it home and I'll say I can lock it, I can make this private to my phone, I can add more actions, but I'm just going to program it for now. So it's saying hold over tactile to program. So I'm going to put this tactile to the back of the phone. Whoops, I moved it too fast. Let's see if we can do that again. There we go. So it just sent a small burst of information wirelessly to the tag in here, and now if I redo my test, let's go back to Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, shut those off, and pretend that I just got home, there's the tag on the wall, Bluetooth is off, I'm sorry, on, Wi-Fi is off, where's my tag, there it is, and there you go. Now I've got Wi-Fi on, Bluetooth off, just like I said on the programming. So here we have that. I can stick that on the wall next to my entry door, and I'm good to go. I've got four others in this pack. Again, five pack costs about $15. What I've noticed, though, while these Samsung tech tiles work fine on the Galaxy Note and also on my Galaxy Nexus, which is a Samsung designed phone, they're not working on the Nexus 4, even though that has NFC built in. So I'm going to unlock it and show you exactly what happens. It recognizes that there's a tag, but it doesn't know what to do with it. And the reason it doesn't know what to do with it is because it says here, no action has been associated with this tag. The main reason is it doesn't have the Samsung software on here to do something with the information from the Samsung tactile. So what I did was I did a little bit of research because I'm thinking there's got to be a more universal solution. It turns out there is, that there's multiple ones. Here we have an app free in the Google Play Store called NFC Task Launcher. And here you can buy tags. 
Uh, let's see, four stickers for $3.99, for example. They hold 144 bytes each. Bear in mind, we're not storing gobs of data on these things. They can only store a little bit of data. Maybe, maybe a kilobyte at most. But there's a whole bunch of packages there. And then they also have different profiles, similar to what I was setting up before. Car, activate Bluetooth and Maps. Office profile, ringer on, Wi-Fi. I'm sorry, ringer off, Wi-Fi on. Bedside, I like this, blissful silence set alarm. So there's all kinds of things you can do in here. You can send it a tweet, you can check in on Foursquare. I mean, that'd be great if I checked into my office all the time, but I don't. Um, most of these things you can do on the Samsung Tactile app, but I like that you can do quite a bit here. I mean, when I say add a new tag type, I can have a new task one that switches two tasks between each tap. So really I could just have one, one NFC tag at my door and it will toggle everything on or off based on if I'm coming home or, or leaving the house. You can import tasks and so on. You can just also write basic data, which is kind of like what the Moo card has. So if I said new task, let me just show you what the actions are you have. You just have a lot more here and even has integration with Tasker, which is an app I mentioned earlier. So you got alarms, you can set your alarms, you can open and close applications media playback. You can do quite a few of those with the tactile as well. I'll show you in a second. Different events. You can create a calendar event or a calendar timestamp. You can send a text message that says, hey, I'm leaving the house. Place a call. Tweet. Google Places. Security. You can set your lock screen. That's kind of simple. Display actions. Sounds and volume actions. And of course, what I like, the wireless and the networks. I'll note here though, that GPS on and off is an option here. It's not an option on the Samsung software. And here's why, because if I tap it, it says you need root access. So Samsung just left it out quite honestly. So um, I can't do that right now because I don't have root access to this phone, but I like what I see here in this software. Going back to the Samsung software, if I wanted to create a new action here, let me go back to my apps. Oops, wrong one. Always hard to do this with a camera in the way. Let's try it this way. There we go. Here, I can do the same kind of things, phone and text. I can make a call, send a text message. Do any of these items when I um, tap it to a program tag, start a Google Talk conversation. I thought that was kind of neat. I don't know that I would use it, but again, it's kind of interesting. Settings and apps, launch an app, just like I saw on the other application. Play a track, toggle music playback. So you can see you've got a whole bunch of different things. I really like this one here. Send a glimpse. Glimpse is something I use when I am traveling to pick somebody up. It sends my location in real time to that person for a set amount of time and only to that person. And I just absolutely love it. They can see where I am on the map. So I'm gonna try that one as well. You've got your social bits. You can update Google+, Twitter, Facebook, and so on. All in all, I like, I like what Samsung has given us here. The only thing I don't like is these tags and this app really are meant for Samsung phones. I did find an APK for this that you can sideload this app on other phones. I haven't tried it yet. I think what I'm going to do is get, go towards a more universal solution such as NFC Task Launcher. I'm really excited by this. I want to eventually get to the point where I can integrate these into say my home automation system and uh, just put the phone down on my nightstand and have it shut off the lights, for example, as well as set my alarm and turn the ringer off and so on. So lots you can do here, all with this little radio frequency tag, NFC, wireless technology. I think it's pretty neat.